Niger is a vast sub-Saharan country with an estimated population of 22.4 million. The Nigerian economy depends primarily on agriculture, which represents 40% of its GDP. Since the end of the 1980s, Niger has been witnessing economic crisis with negative consequences for all development sectors. Over the past decade, Niger has made considerable progress in the area of poverty reduction. However, extreme poverty remains very high at an estimate of 41.5% in 2019, affecting more than 9 million people. And poverty keeps education out of reach for children. <laughs> Despite the performance observed in terms of access to education in the past few years, numerous challenges remain to be addressed by Niger's education system as many children and adolescents remain out of the education system. According to UNICEF report, the number of out-of-school children stands at 2.6 million in 2018. This represents 53% of children between 7 and 16 years of age. 59.7% of children in rural areas are out of school compared to 20.1% in the urban areas. Due to the intervention of Islamic Development Bank groups, Poverty Alleviation Arm, Islamic Solidarity Fund for Development, ISFD, with its efforts, the number of schools and education programs have increased over the past years. The average annual growth rate was 2.7% between 2011 and 2015 for primary schools. Despite this growth, schools have an average of just four classrooms and almost half of them are thatched huts. The problem becomes even more acute at the level of junior secondary schools. Children residing in a locality where there is no secondary school run a higher risk of dropping out. The Niger government has made education a national priority which justifies the adoption of the Niger Education System Reform Law. This law sets the fundamental principles which makes education a right for every Nigerian citizen. In order to strengthen the out-of-school children and adolescents program, we seek support from unilateral organizations and philanthropists to achieve these objectives. Improving the learning environment of all schools increasing the workforce, taking measures to make compulsory education effective up to 16 years of age, establishing financial support mechanisms, reducing training costs and fees, improving the governance of the educational system, and thus Finally, bringing children back to school and providing education for children. La première des choses, c'est que nous sommes un pays pauvre. Et nous avons un autre aléa, c'est la question sécuritaire, qui prend 19% de nos budgets. La pauvreté, le taux d'accroissement naturel et l'insécurité sont des facteurs qui font que notre pays a besoin d'un accompagnement de nos différents partenaires, notamment la BID et même les autres qui ne sont pas 
qui sont en dehors de la ville peuvent contribuer au développement de l'école. ISFD, along with its partners' efforts, join together and fight poverty by educating, enriching and empowering the children and adolescents of Niger.